Toy and I have a special announcement. Um, well, it's not really something shocking or anything like that. Um, October 21st is my birthday and it's also the day that I am slated to release my new children's book and I'm very excited because these books have literally kind of taken over my life the past couple of months. I was supposed to be writing the third installment of my Eternal Curse series and I totally just neglected that project because this took over. So if you don't know, um, I am a teacher's aide, um, that's my day job, and I work with um, special needs students. And so last year we were kind of challenged with trying to teach some concepts to our students and we didn't really have the materials to do it. And me being the writer and self-publisher that I am, I actually wrote some materials for our students to use and afterwards, you know, a couple of people looked at them and they were like, you know, these are really good, you should do something with these. So I decided to go legit and turn my stories into children's books for the whole world. And um, I really, you know, I've been doing the self-publishing thing for a while, but this was a little bit extra because not only did I write these stories, I illustrated them, and as anyone who knows me knows that I always love to draw in color, but that doesn't mean that I'm, you know, trained to be an illustrator. So this was uh, definitely a labor of love, and I have plants and animals change over time, and land changes over time. These two books kind of go together because they teach children about the necessity of change, kind of how change happens can be, you know, a gradual change, you, you know. It's just kind of giving them the concept that change is kind of inevitable and it doesn't have to be a scary thing. And then the other two that I've written, because I did, I did four, I have What Does Joe Need and chip and skip need each other and these two you know kind of go together they teach um, children the importance of having what they need kind of showing them the difference between wants and needs and how they can be similar but not the same and so these four books I'm just so proud of so excited about that for my birthday I would like to give them away and what I mean is, is I have nine students in my classroom and I thought it would be wonderful if they got to have a book to keep forever that's theirs that was written by one of their teachers. So that's kind of where, you know, I got the idea from, but I mean, this is, I have four books here. I have nine students. So four times nine, you do the math. That's a lot of money for me to come out of pocket with. So that's why I'm asking you to help out with some donations and since I'm on this whole path of trying to you know gather these books from my students I decided to go even further I haven't set any cap or limitation on this but if other people want to get on board and donate towards this campaign I will literally give as many books away as people are willing to donate and what I mean by that is I'm gonna start with my classroom I'm gonna try to collect enough books so that the students in my class can have a copy of each of my books and because I've been in the school system for so long and I know so many educators in Virginia Beach, Chesapeake, Norfolk, Hampton, I want to be able to say, I know you know someone who teaches grades, you know, two and below. Here's some free books to just put in that, put in those classrooms. You know, these classrooms always have their own little libraries. So why not have a book written by a local author in a local classroom for students to read? And I don't know how much this is going to catch on, if it's going to catch on at all. But if, you know, if I get so many donations, I will even set up meet and greets at local libraries to just, you know, give away books. Depending upon, you know, how many there are, I'd be like, the first 10 people, you just get a free book. And I won't be selling anything that day. I'll just literally be meeting and greeting, talking about my writing process. I am literally not trying to make money off this effort. I do hope that, you know, if someone gets one of these books, they will at least write a review because I did put a lot of effort into it so you know for someone to go on to amazon.com or goodreads.com and say yes I like this book or maybe no you didn't um, the feedback is, is, is just as valuable as you know any type of monetary gain but the most important thing for all of this is the fact that I just want to give these books away to children in the area and so what I've set up is I'm 
this book retail value when it becomes available on October 21st will be $9.99 plus shipping and tax. What I'm offering today is $8 to make the donation and reason why it's $8 is because that includes the shipping, that includes the tax, and I'm only charging the stock rate what I would pay for it. So literally I'm not making any money off of it. Um, in, the, in the links below I have um, a link to my terms and conditions for this entire campaign and it literally breaks down the cost of every single book so if you're interested in the campaign campaign and you want the details please look at that so what I'm doing is if you want to donate one of these books it's straight it's eight dollars and there's nothing more to it if you want to you know recommend someone and say hey this donation is for Miss Carpenter's class at White Oaks Elementary which is my class then that's who it'll go to. So you can actually say, I want my donation to go to a certain person, and I'll make sure that certain person gets it. But any donations that are just kind of random, I'm going to start with my class and then move on from there. And so what I'm also doing is that I realize that some of you might want a copy of this book for yourself. You might be like, yeah, I'm donating, but what do I get? So I've also set up a couple um, price ranges that, that will include the $8 for each children's book donation then another price for whatever your reward is so for ten dollars you can get one of these books donated and then you get to keep an ebook of choice that I've written and the ebooks will include all of my children's books all of my novels and my short stories so you get to choose what you want out of there so essentially you're paying the eight dollars for the donation and then the two dollars for the ebook which is really good because if you try to purchase my ebooks anywhere else, they're $2.99, so you're saving a buck. And then I also have another price rank option of $15, and that's where you get one of my short stories, which includes the $8 for the donation, and then the remainder is the cost for that. And then you can pay $20, which will get you one of the children's books or one of my novels, and then of course I get to donate one. So if you want to, you know, get all the details about the prices and stuff like that, please look at my terms and conditions. But this is pretty much it. I just want to give these books away. I'm not, you know, like I said, I'm really, I'm not making any money off of this. I've calculated it so that I have enough to pay for the books, cover the tax and shipping, and that's it. I really just want to share this with so many people. And, um, you know, for each person who contributes to this campaign because it is going through PayPal you'll get a confirmation number and one thing that I've set up for when these books actually do become available on sale is that I have a little link in the back of the book that says if you paid for this book if you have a receipt or an invoice number or a confirmation number you will also get a free download of supplemental materials that go with each book Yes, I have written quizzes, I have written word wall words to go with each of these books. So there's, I just can't express enough how much I just want to see children with these books. That That's my dream. And so I've just kind of put everything else to the side. I'm not, you know, this is probably the only time this will ever happen because as a writer, I got to make money off my writing, but for this particular endeavor, I don't want to make money. I just want to put these books in the hands of some children in the local area, and I hope that you will help me out. It'll be a wonderful birthday present to me and a wonderful celebration of childhood literacy, and thank you.